the Dark Frontiers development update number 10. Firstly, the team is excited to show the variety of enemies you'll be facing. Not only are you going to be fighting off countless different alien species, but even within the species themselves there are tons of variations like different parts, skins, and sizes, adding to the uniqueness of each enemy you encounter, increasing the replayability of the game, and just keeping things fresh. Next we have a whole host of interactive environmental assets and various actions and triggers. You'll have to activate moving platforms and elevators, fix pipes, solve various puzzles, and more. We want the game to be engaging and immersive, and adding these interactions, even the small ones, can really help to develop that all-encompassing gameplay. Now Dark Frontiers has boasted stellar graphics from the start, but what the team has been able to add to the visual storytelling is nothing short of impressive. We have lots of new shaders and animations that will liven up the game world with moving objects, visual effects like sparks, smoke, and fog, a highly detailed environment, and so much more. While these visuals certainly take that extra effort to properly implement, we believe it's so worth it to spend time on those details as they really help to bring the game to life. The goal isn't just to provide some passive entertainment to the players, we really want to make you feel like you're in the game, living out your own space adventure. Now, a tremendous amount of time and resources have been spent on level development. This process takes the longest amount of time, but also brings the biggest and most impactful results. The process starts with the blockout, checking all the proportions and environment sizes. The devs also match the triangle and texture concentrations in different places, so that all environments and places that the players can see will have similar performance so that the game is as smooth as possible and has a consistent world layout. And finally, I'd like to invite you to turn your speakers up and kick back for a few seconds to fully experience the immersive sound design of Dark Frontiers. Anyways guys, that's our development update for now. We'll continue to update you on all the progress as we inch closer and closer to launch and do be on the lookout as we'll have more opportunities for some of our community members to play in the near future. Until next time, I'm Joe with Dark Frontiers and we'll see you on the moon.